today's video, we're talking about the latest Detroit Lions draft rumors. And finally, some rumors have broke up and we can get an idea a little bit of potentially what the Detroit Lions are thinking at this point. I already read it. I seen the draft rumors for the Detroit Lions. I actually think it's legit. Why? Because it's exactly the trend that we have been seeing for some time. So it's important that we see this trend and, and kind of have an idea what the Lions are going to do because the draft is 13 days away. Try to get as much information that I know that there is out there to let you guys know about the Detroit Lions. It's also going to mesh in with Mel Kuyper's big board, his top 50 players that he's got going on for you know his NFL draft, and it meshes together with the Detroit Lions rumors that we're hearing. Question for you, should I do a Lions big board? Why for yes and N for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Talking about big boards, talking about draft rumors. Well, we got one, well, two that came out. We're going to kind of make it into one video right now. And the latest rumors is the Detroit Lions are really high on Kool-Aid McKinstry, the cornerback out of Alabama, this is something that is pretty much known that the Lions need the cornerback position. They want to upgrade it. But Kool-Aid McKinstry is high on their board. Why do I think that this is a legit rumor? Well, because the Lions used him in a 30 visit, right? They visited him, combine. He's from Alabama, and he's a position of need at the cornerback position. Everything is lined up for the Detroit Lions to really like Kool-Aid McKinstry. And if you're wanting to get the help on defense of a reliable player who's going to be there at pick 29, that right there is Kool-Aid McKinstry. He is that type of person. So I'm going to ask you again right now. Should I do a Lions big board? Why for yes and, and for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. In the same article... Another player is high on the board for the Detroit Lions, and that's Taron Arnold, the cornerback from Alabama as well. 40 solo tackles, 12 pass defense, 5 interceptions, 1 forced fumble. They like to get a young corner and develop them. That's what they want to do. And they're looking at all the corners. We've seen it in free agency and in the draft. And it makes a lot of sense that, again, the Lions would like to get a corner who is from Alabama, who is good. That is the trend that they have done as well. Lions high on him. Another player that they're eyeing as well, and this was an intriguing one, and this is Cooper DeJean, the cornerback out of Iowa. Now, he is, is portrayed as a cornerback, but there's also rumors that teams could make him into a safety so if the and, and if he was to be a safety, by the way, he'd be the hands down the best safety in this year's draft. So he's a more of a universal player, could play corner and safety. That's exactly what the Detroit Lions like to have, right? Will Harris, even though his skill set's not that great, he could play two positions. The Lions like universal players. Makes all the sense in the world that that's what they want to do here. And the problem though with Dijon. I just don't think he's going to be available at 29, so this would have to be a situation where he completely falls in the draft board and or the Lions are going to trade up to get a player. I don't really believe he would be available at that spot for the Lions, and we definitely need to get better at the corner position, so for sure that he's going to be a target for the Detroit Lions. But you want to know it also is a great target, and that's getting game time, folks. With killer deals, last-minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed, you can stop stressing and start getting fun for the hype that you're going to have. It's easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area, whether it's sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, or whatever. Their lowest price is guaranteed. That's game time guaranteed, which means you're getting the best prices, and if you find tickets in the same section or less, game time will credit you a 110% of the difference. You can get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football, baseball, basketball, concerts, and more. In the middle screenshot, by the way, I think it's a fantastic feature of the app. It shows you where your seat is, and if you move your phone left to right, you can see the area like a 3D live photo. 
So download the app. It's real simple. Just download it. Plug in Chas Boris, get $20 off your very first purchase. Again, go to the redeem code section, put in Chas Boris, get $20 off your first purchase. Terms to play, got to create an account, got to have an email, all that lovely stuff to save that money, get $20 off. The information is going to be in the comment section and description of this video. If you're buying Lion Six tickets this year or any sort of tickets, make sure you're using Game Time, download Game Time today, last minute tickets and lowest prices guaranteed. Continue on. This is why they want to get the cornerbacks. But guess what? It's not just cornerbacks that they're high on. One specific player they are really high on, and that is someone we've talked about multiple times. And that is Mr. Darius Robinson. They're really high on Darius Robinson. That is good because the Detroit Lions need to get edge. I know we heard about the Marcus Davenport. Brad Holmes, they talked about him. And he could pair him up with Aiden Hudson, all that stuff. But as we know, you don't want to bank on that. You don't want to bank on the Detroit Lions focusing on Marcus Davenport, and then he fails. So question for you. Will the Lions go defensive line in round one? Put H-Y for hell yes, H-N for hell no. This is what they're talked about in the rumors. I'm hearing Detroit front office is enamored with cornerbacks who has a potential of, of also helping the team in the return game, which would make Kool-Aid McKinstry and Cooper DeJean a realistic option for the Lions at 29. Taron Arnold, who also visit the Lions, is a player many teams will covet in the first round. He brings versatility outside of defensive back skills as he played 3-on-1 combined special team snaps the last two years. Continue on right there. Outside the cornerback spot, it's all realistic. General manager Brad Holmes targets an offensive lineman like Graham Barton since the unit features three starters over 30. Detroit has been successful building the trenches. And the dream scenario this year is edge Darius Robinson somehow falls to Detroit Lions late in the first round. They like those players. And it is nothing that we have not really heard up to this point. We know they want cornerbacks. Now, it may be a little bit different if you actually believe that Marcus Davenport was going to be a guy, but someone like me and a lot of other individuals believe that the Detroit Lions really need to get an edge rusher and love to do that. So then it comes in with Darius Robinson. There's more on the Darius Robinson thing here. It says, what we're hearing about the Lions draft, here's your landing spot for Darius Robinson, said an area scout who crossed paths with the Lions decision makers multiple times this year and has shared conversations about the team needs. Robinson, the versatility defensive lineman for Missouri, is an ideal scheme fit for the 6'5", 285-pounder. He played both defensive end and defensive tackle in 2023 while posting eight and a half sacks. And while the Lions have standout players like Ada Hodgson and Lee McNeil on the defensive line, Robinson's powers and bursts on the edge would be a welcome addition. 100%. And I know a lot of people said they're not going to get edge because of Marcus Davenport. I, I've been calling BS on that one for a long time because they need help upon that edge. Darius Robinson, of all the prospects in this year's draft, is the perfect fit to me for the Lions. Even though I like other players, he is a perfect fit. He's very good at what he does. He's universal, can play edge, can play interior. Primarily, though, he gets sacks and he's a pass rusher. Right? His motor never ends. There you go. Another Dan Campbell. Position of need. He, he, he's rising off draft boards, flying up draft boards. And as I'm starting to believe he doesn't even make it uh, to the Lions. I'm thinking 17 to 25. More importantly, he is a Detroit Lions fan. He loves the football team. So it makes so much flipping sense for him to be the pick for the Detroit Lions. Now, we've heard rumors that the Lions have called up to potentially make trades up in the draft. I do believe it would be for a pass rusher, whether it be Jared Verse or Darius Robinson. I do, I 100% believe they absolutely love Robinson. They adore him. Makes a lot of sense. So, question again, will the Lions go defensive line in round one? HY for hell yes, HN for hell no. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
But those are not the only targets the Lions could look at. I got six players who I think that are dark horses potentially to be that selection at 29. Now, we'd have to; these players have to be there, but it's not necessarily the ones that you're hearing all the time. Here's my dark horses. Adonai Mitchell, wide receiver from Texas. Why? Because Josh Reynolds is gone. And if he's available and some of these other prospects that we like is not available, the Lions take him to make that offense better. It's BPA for Brad Holmes. How about Lad McConkey. Now, I don't think he's going to be there. But again, another wide receiver prospect for the Lions to look at, trying to get a little bit better. Chop Robinson. Very much could be there at pick 29. Again, edge rusher. I'm not the biggest fan of Shop Robinson. The Lions need help at edge. Nate Wiggins, cornerback. I would absolutely adore him to be there at 29. The reason I put him on this list and uh, the rumors, I just don't think he's going to be there at 29, but we know the draft sometimes kind of goes wonky. Byron Murphy, defensive tackle. They do need help at defensive tackle. I think this would be a longer shot, though. I really don't. They get something maybe if the draft went completely haywire. Cooper DeJean, Iowa. I think, obviously, that was a, a rumor. You would have to probably trade up to get him. That's why I put him on a long shot here. I don't think he'll be available at the 29th pick. But he is a target for the Detroit Lions. We're going to be hearing a lot of rumors in the next 13 days. But I do think that Kool-Aid McKinstry... Darius Robinson are the two main targets for the Detroit Lions. I do. If I'm going to be doing a mock draft, it's probably going to be one of those guys as the selection makes all the sense in the world from what we look at, from play to college to visits to need for the Detroit Lions and the type of players they are if it's exactly what the Lions want. So that's what I got going on there. Folks, we're going to be dropping videos every single day. Make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the latest Lions news and rumors. With that said, folks, adio.